Hi ladies, back again with part four of our Let's Make an ABC Primer album. Um, we're going to go through page, well, the first page here, and uh, start to build that up. So let's move that out of the way. So first you need one of your pages, and then from the um, 8x8 sheet of Jumping Joan, the one that's got the girl skipping on the back, cut a piece of uh, paper five and three quarters by four inches and that's going to go at the top like that. Then cut a piece of card, a piece of black card that's eight and three quarter inches by five and a quarter and that's going to form the flap up and you need two strips cut these from the 12 by 12 paper an alphabet strip that we're going to put across the bottom and I used stamps on the original book but we're going to put a strip just up the side like that okay and then to cover this we want um, a piece of paper for alphabet soup from the 12 by 12 sheet and a piece of the ABC primer 12 by 12 as well and you need to cut those at 5 by 4 inches and then from the 12 by 12 alphabet soup sheet I've cut out an oval, one of the little girls skipping, um, and I used my oval cutter to do that on the inside. I put the cutter on the inside of the oval and cut her out. And then I stuck her onto a piece of black card, cut round the edge just to give a little border, and then inked that. And then um, I cut two embellishments for inside here. And again, they're cut, well, that one's cut from the 12 by 12 alphabet soup. And that one's from the 12 by 12 page of tags and pocket and book plates. Okay, so let's start building it up. out of the way. So first of all I've inked this all around the edges just to save time and I'm just going to use my glue gun and stick it down. Again I'm going to put some glue in the middle just to make sure that it doesn't bubble away from the card. And then I'm going to place it about a quarter of an inch away from each of the edges. So I'm not very good at doing this upside down. Let's just pull it out, it's gone wonky. Let's see if I can pull it up. Okay, start again. So that goes on first, and that's at the top of the page. Then we're going to put the alphabet strip across the bottom and the letter strip up the side. So just stick that. I'm just going to use the wet glue for this to make sure that it sticks all the way across. Make sure you've glued right up to the edges. And then I'm going to stick it right across the bottom and just trim any excess off after I've stuck it down. And just trim there. And 
turn it round and trim um, And then we're going to stick the alphabet strip just down here. Okay, and I'm going to just glue that. I love these foam, little foam um, paintbrushes. It's like decorating the house. <laughs> okay. Get it the right way up. Line it up with the top of the bottom strip and the edge and then just stick it down. Okay. So just move that over there. Now for the pocket, I've cut a piece of black card as I said, eight and three quarter inches by five and a half. And I've scored it here at four and a half for the fold. And then I've cut the corners off to make it look as though an em to make it look like an envelope. So what I did was I just with the scissors just cut away and I cut one corner off and then I turned that over and used it to cut the other corner off so that the two sides are exactly the same. Okay, and then I want to have a black border around this top flap. So what I did was took my piece of five by four paper and opened this up, placed it, I want it to be a quarter of an inch away from the fold line, but I placed it a half an inch away. Turned it over and then drew around that cut edge. So now I'm going to cut that away. If I can see where I've done it. And I'll show you why in a minute. And then cut away around there. So that when I put it on top of the card, let's turn it that way, you get the border all the way around, the black border all the way around. And then ink that. Um, I'm using vintage, oops, vintage photo ink, which is my favourite. Just gives it a nice old look, warm look, and I'm going to stick. I'm going to put that one on the inside, I think. No, I'll put it on the outside. So let's glue it with the glue gun. See what I'm doing. Strip across the middle. And then let's stick it down. So center it up as best you can. This is really hard doing this upside down. It's all the wrong way around. And then I did exactly the same for the piece that I put on the inside here. So let me just cut that one. Cut it out. I'm trying to keep all the videos to about 10 minutes. Um, so they're easy for you to watch. Um, and, and not too long. So I've done a lot of the prep work. Um, and cut most of the things out um, beforehand. So let's 
think that. Let's just move that over there. Turn it over. I think these papers are so nice, it's such a shame to cut them all out and uh, decide what it is that you're going to use. that one to the other side of that flap. Okay. So that gives us a pocket and that is going to sit, I lined it up with the edge of the page here and it just sits inside that um, alphabet strip there. So right, we're going to stick that down now. So tape on the back as near to the edge as you can get it. And then we're going to place it on the page. So I've decided to line it up with the alphabet strip rather than the edge here. Stick that down. And that forms that, that flap there. And then I'm going to stick this little girl in the centre. So I'm going to put glue on the top part of that but not the bottom part that's sticking out over the edge of the flap. So where do I want to place it? About there. I'm going to turn that back on itself and just draw myself a little line so that I don't put glue over that line. There we go. Glue right up to the edges. where you want it to go, centre it up and just push it down. If you hold it for a couple of seconds it will stick and that's the flap. To make the pocket I cut this out from the page that had all the tabs and the uh, book plates this was one of the um, frames from the alphabet soup and they're both from 12 by 12 paper. So I took this one, inked it and then I'm going to glue two of the sides and it's going to form the pocket here. So I'm going to glue the bottom edge about a quarter of an inch in and then up this side here. I don't want the glue to go too far in, otherwise you lose the space to put something behind it. Turn it over. Line it up with the edge of your card, the flap that you've just stuck on down. And then flatten down. And then that fits behind, like that. And then just to finish it off, I cut from the 12 by 12 ABC primer paper two of the flashcards and I cut a piece of card five inches long by I think one and seven eighths inches and they just fit nicely onto that with a black border. And then I'll just put that round there and put a red paper clip on just to finish it off. Thank you.